what's up everyone I'm blazing effects and in this video I'm going to show you how to use my character rig from my animator first off you'll need two programs first program my animator I'll link that to the website in the description below and the second one is any of your favorite paint softwares but I only can paint.net down below just because it's recommended for using in the tutorial and there will be another link in the description called rig download and then once you download it you will get this once you have this you can double click it and just drag the file out that will be just extracting it you can just throw that in the trash now and once you have done that installed your favorite paint software and minimator extracted this open the paint software and open the folder with the rig in it You'll see these files, but just worry about the new skin file first. And just drag it here, open. Make sure it's a 64 by 64 with transparent background, otherwise it won't work. And for this, you will need your own skin. If you don't have it by now, I'll link another program in the description. It's called Minecraft Skin Viewer, or you can use Nova Skins, or Miners Need Shoes, I think that's what it's called. To search up what you need search up Steve and save skin as backstop save and yes I'll replace it you just minimize that because you don't need it right now once you have your Steve skin or your skin or whatever skin you're using go and just add layer but don't merge it just add it over the layer so you can still see the skin and stuff once you have done that, lower the opacity for paint.net, it's at properties and just lower the opacity. And you will need for paint.net. Other programs, I'm pretty sure there's like the wand tool you can like select stuff and delete or just erasers better. But eraser on this one just won't completely erase the pixel, so use the rectangle tool and select where the eyes and mouth is gone for the first layer and then just press delete so now it's like that so you don't need this anymore and you go to put the opacity back up now I recommend using one skin tone when you're using this rig because if you don't it will cause layer overlapping so yeah once you have your skin tone Get the hex number and letters if there are letters and copy that once you have that skin tone yeah I'm going to just like quickly overdraw all of this and yeah I'll see you soon Okay, once you have that done, save the file wherever you want to save it. Save it as a PNG. Just save this to the desktop. No, not new skin for it, just anything. PNG. Save and OK. And then you could exit out of here. Once you have that done, double click my animator and just open that up. Once it opens, yeah. This one takes some time to open for me, but for others, I think it's instantly. So, to open this, you could just go to the folder by creating a new project first, and then go to the folder, browse, and then find where the where you extracted the. Uh, Break and double click on this and then it'll still bring up this or if you already have a scene you can just add it in by just pressing about add button and going to the same folder so this opens up and what you do is 
go to project properties go to library and then click on rear assist rig you click on this up arrow and press browse go to wherever you saved your skin and press open nope this is not it um as if I saved it to the wrong thing nope it's this one okay here we go so here's where the cutter thing comes in what you need to do is like just this will be closed just open it then all of these will be open and stuff so what you need to do is go to first mouth not mouth top jaw and just like shift click all of these and bottom jaw just shift click all of these go down go to cutter go down again and then click on mix cutter then just paste that in press ok then once you're done with that just now go to where it says mouth sides click shift click on all the ones that are in here go to mix cutter paste that in now yeah go you you could change the cutter of the fingers too just like go right here shift click on these and the thumb do for both sides at the same time so I'm just gonna do that shift click on all of these and then go to mix cutter again and paste it in so now you have the rig and if you want to change the cut of the eyes all you have to do is go back to the paint software that you chose and go to the folder pupil gradient just drag it in here open and now you just like change the gradient the color that for the eyes you want so which one is it first I guess I'll do red and that so it's kind of like this but the lighter one goes down below you can file save as I'll name it pupil gradient 2 for the desktop you could save it anywhere else you want it want to save it and what you need to do is go to go back out this go back and find where the gradient is I'll, before I like put it in and download, I'll name this to pupil. Just go to browse and go to where you saved it and there you go. There you are there are your different pupil colors. Change your eyebrow color, it's just like do what we've been doing. But instead for the mix color, you could just change it to any color you want. And yeah, for Steve I guess I'll put black eyebrows. Yeah, if you want 3D 3D hair, you could like go ahead and add it in by creating a an item sheet and yeah, create an item sheet and put the hair on it, like on top and on the sides and stuff. I will show you what I mean. You go to here and then you go to item, go to browse, then wherever you put your hair or anything like here I'll show you the file I'll have this linked in the description below with the creator of where I got where I got this from you just like put that put this on once again your paint software and just open it and once you have this just add a layer with your skin on it just add a layer and now all you need to do is just get where your hair is like I'll just get one of these sides right now for the tutorial then just copy that crash that it's this and you can make it bigger but I'll just like leave it 
this side. Now, nope, never mind, you have to make a new layer first. Then paste it there. Now it's just delete this abrupt background. And they have to be like a distance from each other, they can't just be right next to each other. Like I'd recommend it at least this much distance from each other because otherwise it's gonna just merge with the other one. Just save it this as anything you want. Save and then go back to my animator. Now go to here, the crafting table, time the sword, and right here, press browse. Press wherever you save the sheets, right here. And now you have your 3D hair, just press create, and it will spawn down here or wherever the camera is. For mine, it spawned right, right here. For the rotation, you can just rotate anywhere you want. I'll just rotate 90. Nope, negative 90. And then you can just, yeah. Try to match this with the actual side if I can. Just like that. Just like that. Then you have your 3D hair, but since it's a tutorial, yeah, it's sloppy, so yeah, you could just like duplicate. If your sides are like the same, you could duplicate the item. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to parent it to the head. Just friendly reminder, it'll be up here. Just like lower it. Once you have that and it's parented and done and stuff, you can duplicate it by pressing here or pressing control D and then you can yeah change the sign right here if it's if it has no sign like no negative just put a negative there but if it has a negative just press backspace on that negative and it will be on the other side but that's only if the sides are the same if they're different then I recommend using the item sheet again and getting the other side done so yeah with this rig it comes into pupil highlights you could press right here like right above the teeth and right below these teeth you can do this like control this green circle like up for a smile down for a frown and you could also now you can close the jaw just added that in before I did the preview thing and yeah you can close your jaw you can make the pupil smaller with but like don't leave it right here to scale it you can just click on here only X and Y only scale X and Y you scale with Z is gonna go in and come out so it won't show at all to make them smaller it's just like make a smaller type of smaller number like that and for the eyebrows it's just the same for the mouth just click on these then you can just shift right click to make them go back so I don't think you could do that for that so you just gonna type in six again and for the mouth you can just do this wasn't that far down so yeah it's like that for the fingers just oh crap okay I'm back I just had to go get my charger before my laptop died on me so for the fingers just same for the mouth and eyebrows you can click on them and rotate them and shift click to put them back to zero but I put them to 90 for the bands for default so yeah I can't reset the default to 90 that's why it's like that and let's put this back to zero yeah 
and that's pretty much it for the features I think but if you want to make it into a kid because yeah like pretty much every mind mater rig you put into a kid just put type click on the body go to scale click on this and then just uh no I think it's the actual rig itself yeah scale this down click on here scale that down then click on the head and scale that up then you could get your rig your kid rig and also in this one it's like pretty easy to put in but I added a name tag just in case you want to do some like some mini game thing so yeah um, I'll just find that right here so it's parented to the head so whenever you move the head the name tag moves and to edit this just go and click on the name tag and just change the name to whatever you want that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoy the rig and goodbye